Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Got another out-of-the-park game for you. I am getting addicted to out-of-the-park. I'm loving this game. So I have another season underway. If you've been following the channel, you know that I have an 1890s season where I've just completed my fourth year. My first year as the Chicago uh, Orphans manager. The, the uh, first three were as the Louisville Colonels manager. So I'm in my fourth season in that. I also have another season that I'm running where I'm taking, I'm really the Red Sox, but it's like the Red Sox with players from all different eras and years all across the history of baseball. So, um, that, and that team's not very good. Let me just tell you. So, uh, and I did put up a game uh, last week. I believe it was last week on that. But now I have started a 1980 Pirates season. Fresh off their World Series victory, I am now the manager of the Pirates, which, as a friend of mine, Chris Dufour, pointed out, Chuck Tanner is probably very unhappy about. But, nevertheless... You can see the standings are right down there in the bottom middle, right here. And we are one and a half games behind, of all teams, the Mets. Now, let me tell you something about the 1980 Mets. They won 68 games, and they're 9-2. and two. I'm 8-4, and four, and that's probably roughly about what the 1980 uh, Pirates would be after 12 games and we can see right here that my owner is unhappy at the moment I don't know what the guy is unhappy about I'm only one and a half I'm in second place one and a half games behind a team that shouldn't even be where it is so I think that dude needs to chill a little bit so anyway um, that's where we are. We're eight and four, and uh, we're going to be playing the Expos. The Expos are uh, three games behind us, so we definitely want to beat them. The pitching matchup is going to be John Candelaria against Scott Sanderson. Um, of note, with my 1980 Pirates, we have, um, as far as players on the team, that really weren't on the 1980 Pirates, or for that matter, on the Pirates at all. Uh, we have um, Cliff Johnson, and he is a backup catcher. But um, other than that, most of the guys on the team are really uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. We do have Vance Law. We just brought Vance Law up. I'm not sure if he was ever in the pirate system around the pirates it's themselves but yeah he's a potential another guy that um isn't on the team but we the the pitching staff is you know typical pirates um it's you know bly levin candelaria roden um uh don robinson it's a it's a typical um uh actual 1980 pirates rotation so uh let's see here i gotta turn down the sound so that that doesn't get in the way and so without further ado let's get on with this game now, i also want to mention i have been trying to look for um player photographs for to import into the game not to mention also stadiums. I've heard a lot of guys have commented on my out of the park in the past and said, you know, it's not a big deal to get those. You know, it's not very hard. You can do this, that. Let me tell you something. I've tried and it every time I think I'm getting somewhere, I'm not. From what I know, I have to go to some kind of forum to get the, the, uh, the baseball player photos 
and uh, so let me get yeah, there. It's not really a good place to put me. Let me put me right here. Um, I've been trying to, to figure out what form I can go to to download the photos. I also want to let anybody know because I really want comments on this so that I can be directed in the right um, direction. You might even want to send me an email because it may be something that's a little more difficult than just, you know, a comment in a video and you could send me an email. But I want to point out that I'm also, um, I, I'm not in stream, so I'm just doing this or Steam, Steam, um, which does support out of the park, but I'm, I'm just in out of the park. So I need to find out how can I get, how can I import at least player pictures? Because as you can see right here, Bill Madlock, well, I don't know. Bill, that looks like maybe it could be Bill, Bill Madlock. But you're going to see guys in this game with the drawings that they have, you know, with the cartoon versions that they have in the game, standard, that they just don't look like the real players. So um, I'm trying to find out where I can get the, how I can import the player photos so that I can have those in the game. It's nice to have... I know how to do it in Stratomatic, and I've done it for my Stratomatic game, but I would really love to be able to do that in this game. And I would also like to be able to import um, ballparks if possible. And now the Expos have actually taken the lead on me while I've been sitting here rambling. Uh, because this is like a generic looking stadium right here. Um, we uh we're in montreal and not only that but really montreal played in a dome i think in 1980. so this is not at all what the the um the the expos park would look like i have played the cardinals this season and beaten up on them pretty good the cardinals I'm not so sure it's really that the stadium looks like it should, but it does have the arches in the background outside the stadium, behind the stadium. So, um, man, Montreal is just kicking our ass right now. So if there's anybody that can give me a detailed, like if if I have to go to a forum to download the pictures, give me the link to the, fo to the exact spot where the photos are so that I can download the photos. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Um, and I'm assuming that you can do that even though you're not in Steam. Um, hopefully. I, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do that because, you know, you could, I mean, obviously, you could download out of the park 21 without steam because I've done it. I just, you know, I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, that would be a, a great help for me. And you can see Phil Garner just, I think just got out. And now Ed Ott is up. See, this is like a, this is like Ed Ott if he was in high school, this little drawing of him. It's not the Ed Ott. So these drawings of these players are just like representations of what the player might be like. And also, some players are, you know, like you can see John Candelaria here um, is, is black. He's a little darker than he actually was. And, um, and also, when Omar Moreno comes up, you'll see that he's white. So... You know, we know that that wasn't, those weren't the cases with those players. Like, I can kind of get by with, you know, like this, Scott Sanderson, a generic looking guy as Scott Sanderson. But, you know, when you're, you know, it just adds something, I think. It, it, it adds something to the game if you have player photos and if you're playing in ballparks that actually look like the real ballparks that just adds to it and Montreal just continues to get guys on base and take me apart here all right we pulled a double playoff that's cool I mean we're still losing three nothing though. see Omar Moreno 
This is really not what Omar Moreno looked anything like. So, um, and I don't know if it's just like I did the face generation thing and it took a few minutes for him to download all the pictures. I don't know if like if I did that again, would it give me different pictures, different representations for the player's faces? Because I know you can do that with your um, your manager's face. You can keep cycling through different fictional uh, faces until you get one that looks something like you. Not that I have somebody that looks kind of like me, but we got Tim Raines on base. I'm going to pinch out. So let's see. No, he's not going. But now he, oh, he didn't go. He didn't send an 80 runner. Man. All right. So now I'm going to try to do, to pitch out because he's got to be going now. No. Hmm. No, maybe he knows he's just he's taking Candelaria apart and he just wants to keep hitting. Yeah, you're not gonna get reins. So um yeah, that would be great if someone could help me out with that. In fact I could slide myself up here because it doesn't really matter what they're Oh no I can't because that's I have to Hit that for the pitch thing. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I am really getting addicted to this game. I mean, like, the only thing I'm doing with, with my free time. If I'm not recording a video and I'm not working, I'm playing out of the park baseball. So, um... This game is really growing on me. And I and one of the knocks I used to have was that it didn't seem like it played realistically. But now the more I play it, the more like it seems like it is. You know, like the Pirates are, they have a good record. And they have a good pitching staff. And they are pitching well and playing well. Except for Candelaria, who has a 563 earned run average on the year. Um... But the um, but it's it's really uh, yeah it's growing on me. Oh, somebody dropped the ball. And that was me dropping the ball. Thankfully, it's Dan Briggs who's on first, so he isn't going to go anywhere. And we pull the double playoff. And it has all kinds of different views, too. In fact, I start off with the, you know, the view from behind home plate, which I love. And you've got the out-of-town scoreboard here, which you can set it up to put out. And then you've got the scoreboard up here in the corner this way, this view, and look for the scoreboard. Um, I think this is 3D traditional view something like that um and i like this i like this better than i think the other choice for 3d is 3d modern but i like the 3d traditional view um so yeah it would it would be nice if you know i was putting this game up and we were actually playing well too but um the mets you got to believe the mets are going to lose sooner or later I mean if the, if the game really is truly mirroring their the players abilities I would think that the 80 Mets are going to guide uh, they're gonna start losing at some point um, I don't remember what the Pirates though record was in 1980 but like I said that was the year after they won the World Series against the Orioles so we will see. Um, but right now we're doing well. We're eight and four. Even if we lose this, we're eight and five, and still going to be in second place by two games over the Expos. The Expos had some good players, you know, Scott Sanderson, uh, Steve Rogers, Gary Carter. I have also gotten the announcement from. Um, 
Willie Stargell that he's going to retire after this season is over for me. Um, in real life, Willie Stargell retired after the 1982 season, I think. But in this game, he's calling it quits after 1980. So we're going to have to figure out a first base thing for him. And, and again, I'm just the manager of the team. I'm not the general manager. So it's up to the general manager to go get me a first baseman. Um, which I would greatly appreciate because we sent down Doe Boyland. Doe Boyland started the year on my roster as the backup first baseman to Willie Stargell, or at least a potential backup first baseman. He plays Bill Robinson there, or, you know, I have the ability to play Bill Robinson there. But, yeah, Doe Boyland, and that's Doe as in D O E. If Doe Boyland is watching this video, let me know what you're doing right now. Because <laughs> he, I looked him up in the baseball encyclopedia, and he hit 105 in small parts of three over small parts of three seasons. He hit 105. I had to clean off my glasses and look at the that again. I was like 105. The general manager put a dude on my roster that hit 105 for his career so for his stars potential you gotta believe that was it was bad and we're losing four nothing and um i probably should go get some somebody up in the bullpen um i'm gonna get Dave A. Roberts. Oh, okay, here's another guy. Um, Andy Hassler. Andy Hassler was not, I don't believe, ever on the Pirates. But pretty much the rest of these guys, I don't know about Dave A. Roberts, in fact, the guy that I'm warming up. I'm not sure if he was ever on the Pirates. But like Eddie Solomon, I think, was. Kent DeColvey definitely was. Enrique Romo definitely was. Grant Jackson was, Don Robinson, Roden, Candelaria, Bly Levin, and Jim Bibby. So pretty much that's the 1980 real-life Pirates roster, or pitchers. So we've got Tim Foley is up, and it looks like he's going to get a board, which is nice. And Tim Foley with a beard. Did Tim Foley have a beard? I mean, I'm asking. Um, I, I, maybe he did, but anyway, Candelaria is up right now. I'm going to go Pittsburgh substitutions. We're going to pinch hit Craig Kasich. Now I don't remember Craig Kasich. So if anybody out there does, uh, drop me a line, let me know. Give me a comment. Who was Craig Kasich? Was he good right there? He, he well, he moved the runner over, but he got out fielder's choice. Omar Moreno, and he is going to be out. And so I got two down with a man at second. And Bill Madlock, Mad Dog, and he is going to fly out. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to make the change. We're going to put Dave A. Roberts in the pitch. And it's, I mean, every once in a while, it's nice to have a game that you know you're going to lose because you get you can put in pitchers that you wouldn't normally put in. Now watch. Yeah, see, now he has a big lead, and now he decides he's going to steal with Reigns. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a base hit that's going to knock in a run. A little base knock, and it's 5 nothing. No, he held, why did he hold Rod, oh, it was Rodney Scott, it wasn't Reigns. But still, I don't, I still don't know why you're holding Rodney Scott up. Because those two guys could fly. And they got Warren Crow, the Crow, Warren Crow Marty flying out. And, uh, yeah, he's got another run, it's 5 nothing. Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Did I get him? No. No, that was Reigns. Stealing third. <laughs> and 
and uh, up steps Gary Gray. Let's hope we can get Gary Gray. And he can. All right, so we are going to the top of the ninth here. We need five runs to tie. I'm thinking that's not going to happen. Woody Fryman, he brought Woody Fryman in. So let's see, Lee Lacey. Lee Lacey is going to be out, but he won't hit into a double play at least. Willie Stargell, here's Willie Stargell in his last year. And he's out. And that brings up Phil Garner, Scrap Iron. And he's going to fly out, I can tell you from experience. So there you go. We lose 5 nothing. Trying to show you guys how excited I am about this pirate season. And yeah, let's put me over here or something to get me kind of out of the way. Um, there's the box score. Reigns 3 for 4. Dawson 2 for 4. Us, not very good. Foley was two for three. And Foley is, well, he's hitting 313. Yeah, Sturgill, 175. Yeah, I, no wonder he's retiring. And Candelaria, seven innings, four earned runs, a 450 earned run average. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I will keep cycling through every once in a while, playing the different differing games from my different out-of-the-park seasons that I have going on. Um, thought this one would be interesting because we played the Expos and they don't exist anymore. Um, so, leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up for the video. Again, if you have any insights about how I can get player pitchers or uh, ballparks imported into my out of the park 21 game where it's just the out of the park 21 game and not part of Steam. Let me know that, send me an email, you know, with the links to the places I gotta go. Looking forward to that. I would really love to do that if it's not too involved. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.